black people be racist? No. Wow. So when I was a contract firefighter a couple years ago, I, got to, I, got, I saw Rushmore, I saw Yellowstone, I went out to California, I saw Valley of the Giants, I, I walked with Sasquatch in the woods of Northern California, I went into awesome. Canada, I went to Mexico, I, went, yeah. I stayed in Roosevelt's log cabin in the middle of Wyoming, I woke up and there was a fucking buffalo on my doorstep, I mean, yeah. it's- You're just not gonna breeze through you just saying you walked with Sasquatch. <laughs> I, I, I heard that shit. Yeah. <laughs> my problem with that is that I think the media portrays a lot with this, I mean, this is all we see on the news. This is all we see on the media. Yep. Mm -hmm. And now it's like we're feeding into this frenzy and we're making these people famous. I think yeah. we should and, be. And with you, when, and it, when, it, yeah. when it comes to stuff like that, it, I, in my opinion, said it shouldn't make the news. It shouldn't. If yeah. you want to know about it, then read it in a newspaper. So it should make I'm news. serious. No, I'm serious. <laughs> Put it in a newspaper, just not on the video Okay, news. okay. okay. No. Because I don't want it on the television. I know, I know exactly what you're saying. But so you want it not on the television. Because we should You say it should make the news, but it should make the newspaper. newspaper. It kind okay. of made my answer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> I think that made the news. Think Can you sign yeah. it on the dotted line? It's never that yeah, up front. It's, it's sex, you're literally, time, you're literally just sex. doing it. You're just doing it. Yeah, you start making out, and then... And then boom goes the dynamite. Exactly. Pop goes the weasel, you uh, know? <laughs> so, yeah. so it's like, that's why, like you said, it's, it's yeah. tricky. You can't really just, there's no, yes, I guess when she does that, that's consent. You the signs ahead of time. Yeah, Absolutely. like get off of me. Not like icing in my belly button. But you know, know it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny what you just said, though. What you just said about uh, you get the signs, but would that hold up in court if somebody denies that? That's a good point. I think it depends. won't. Yeah. She gave me the signs, Your Honor. Yeah, what well, it works. You're going to jail, bro. <laughs> <You're going laughs> yeah. Thank you for your service, by the way. Yeah, appreciate it. Ow! <laughs> I loved it. Cool. All right. <laughs> can you give us a pre Can you explain your um time in my legs are fire. <laughs> Sorry. If I sound a little weird, like, <laughs> it's so funny to see you struggle. Skin just came off of my leg. I'm sorry. He doesn't know how big he is. He yeah. plays too damn much. You know what we used to say What'd in the say? hood? What you used to say, say in the hood, hood. my homie? You know I have a feeling this is gonna get crazy. Show, I'm gonna show you. Oh, show it! Oh, oh, oh show it! Let me tell you all something about this, homie. I talk James Brown. Oh, oh soul man. James Brown, how did watch that? You taught James I Brown what? James how to get down. Oh, you Let's see it. Let's see it. Let's see it. Oh, I'm gonna get you a bit. Let me clear my throat. Boom, 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 that's how it looked last time Whoa. I was on the toilet. He didn't mean it. I'm just kidding. I, I, I tell my son he's but not the tooth real. Fairy's real. No, screw that. No, there's a there's a real creepy person Listen. who likes to trade currency, low currency, like a dollar something, to collect their teeth. What they do is they bathe into all the teeth and 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 just love teeth. Okay, first of all, you can it's keep true. lying. You can keep telling your daughter that fucking bullshit mm -hmm. if you want. And, and then, but I'm going to keep it real 100 with my child. Well, and I keep a scary mask too. So if she wakes <laughs> up and she's like, "Who's this?" I'm gonna be like, "It's a tooth fairy." <laughs> Go back to bed now, or I'll take all your teeth. Your your daughter's about 27 years old. She's gonna tell this story to possibly her child. Yeah. Tooth fairy came in my room, started talking like Batman, took my teeth, yeah. threw me a dollar like I was a prostitute, and got okay. out of my room. Well, I collect teeth. I mean, the tooth fairy collects teeth. Okay. Dun -dun. So, okay. I don't want anything to do with this in the in the news lately. If this actual man yeah, is walking right. in people's houses taking their teeth, it's like the Grinch. I had no idea. Tonight on the Intellectual Controversy, we have Savage Randy. All right, we talked about you know the the Super Bowl, Justin Timberlake. We talked we talked about Black History Month, and we also talked about uh, having a sex doll as a naked mall rat. We talked about how he is a good personal trainer. Let's get on with the show. All right. The show. It's going to get weird tonight. <laughs> Sit down and watch it because you're going to like it. A little bit worried is, for example, I have a transgender dog. 
and uh, a transgender dog aunt no oh. dog I thought you said that's honest to god time. I thought you said dog I was yeah. like with a straight face you're yeah. gonna make a joke about a transgender dog <laughs> trans- dog right here trying to mess with Missy Elliott okay no no first off <laughs> not how it went Missy oh. Elliott is, is this a combo <laughs> 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 right. I put the, put the so, yet. you mentioned Schindler, Schindler, Schindler's List oh that's a good I see I see how you're, you're doing the segue Schindler's List yeah not Schindler's List <laughs> You mentioned yeah. Schindler's List. Yeah. Not Schindler's Lisp, but yeah. Schindler's List. <laughs> that would be it. You know what? That's horrible. That, yeah. That would be the worst parody movie to do. Like, hey, we're going to do a, pl- a parody about the Holocaust. Let's do <laughs> that real quick. Yeah. No, that's not a problem. Let's do it real quick. Lose okay. it. it has nothing to do with the Holocaust, so we're not being insensitive. Okay. Well, dude, do you, have, do you understand what Schindler's talking about? Uh, not really, because <laughs> every time he talks about f- salad, he keeps saying salad. Dude. And when he says, uh, um, there, I could go, I could go so bad with these jokes. I'm sorry, I can't, I can't. Okay, I let's can't. get serious. We're gonna, we there'll, be, there'll be yeah. like three minutes of me making horrible jokes where it just gets cut. <laughs> I can't do it. Okay, so speaking of Schindler's list, yeah, list. <laughs> <laughs> and to what he said too. Oh, I think you were making a, a point. But you didn't say it. But you can say whatever you want. We don't need to play your That's right. You can say whatever you want. I, well, I think you're going with um. It doesn't matter, you know, if it's a man or a woman raising a child and stuff like that. It, it's any situation. Any situation. Doesn't because yeah. people get really sensitive about that type of, course, of stuff, yeah. right? And mm-hmm. I don't really want to dive into that. Yeah, 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 but you I will mm-hmm. go ahead and say this one, um, one element, and you know who you are when I say this. I spoke to you recently. Okay. It's getting who like here. gives a fuck? Yeah. Because. At the end of the day, yeah, if you're getting mm-hmm. the job done, you're Actually, getting your your, ch- your child's in the positivity. Who cares? Who cares? Yeah. I, I think the hardest thing for me when I was younger, um, you know, as a teenager, lost my faith. Sorry. Was <laughs> you feel like as a person of color, you're always teaching people. Yeah, and it gets annoying to have to teach people. But I'm glad you said that because I feel the same way. It, it's annoying, and there are a lot of times that. You know, white people don't understand that people of color get frustrated because it's like I'm always teaching you things. You don't know this, but the way you come to me to try to learn is not the best way. Mm -hmm. Like you say really dumb things Mm -hmm. opposed to being like, hey, you know, let's have a general discussion. What do you like? That's how I would start a conversation. Like, hey, y'all talk to the other or do you know this guy? Mm -hmm. Like, They don't realize how bad it looks sometimes. And I think um, I had struggles with it as a teenager. Like my mom would always tell me there's sometimes where you're just going to have to teach people. You just are. Yep. And be, be grateful for that because if someone can come to you and get that knowledge and it makes them better, then you've left something with somebody. But there are struggles that every person of color deals with in this country with that, where they, they get tired of teaching. Mm-hmm. They feel like, you know what, bro? I'm done for the day. I want to sit down. I want to just do what I do and mm-hmm. chill and not have to teach anybody. And I think that's some of the narrative that sometimes white people don't understand. They don't understand that you're always having to be correct or be in a certain lane. Oof. And that can frustrate you uh, when other people don't have to do that. <laughs> so do you believe, like, like if a uh, illegal immigrant needed medical assistance, do you think we should just turn them down and just straight for the Americans? No, no, absolutely not. But that's, that's also another thing. Um, obviously, illegal immigrants here don't have health care, mm-hmm. and they are going, and and going to the ER and they're racking up these bills that they can't pay. Mm-hmm. So the hospital doesn't get paid, the doctors don't get paid. You know, like, it, it, it's, it's, yeah. it's a trickle effect, you know? But no, at the end of the day, we're human. Mm-hmm. Like, nobody should be turned away because they're illegal. As both of you guys is because you guys, when it comes to speech, it sounds similar to mine as well. Uh, How many times in your life have you heard, either from the black or the white people, that you you um you talk white or you know having your intelligence seem like it's mm-hmm. something white isn't that insulting? It, what do you guys feel about that? It's very insulting. It's the correct and I always correct no no I don't sound white I talk proper. I proper that's exactly what I say. Proper English and I've been yeah. getting that my whole life and it really and it comes like it comes from both sides. So I've heard black people yeah. and yeah, white people it, say it is, that it isn't like it is from both sides and it gets so yeah. annoying. Open your mind, man. Open and your mind. So I'm supposed to talk like I have no education? Like, right. I don't get it. And it's not even, and it's not even that you you can't speak proper English and then 
speak slang or you know have some kind of right. ebonics like like I'm I speak properly but I throw around all kinds of, of course you know what I'm so it's not even oh, like oh you you just you just you know yeah I'm not I'm not over here trying to portray myself to be a certain right. way or whatever you know it's what I'm time place for everything because you know because you know what no matter what you you know people might say you, you speak white or whatever right if they say that no matter what like black people or just yeah just black people in general we tend to have a certain tone in our voice mm -hmm. still, even if you do speak very properly. Oh, yeah. You can hear somebody on the radio that's, that, that oh, speaks black. very well. Yeah. You can just tell. Mm -hmm. It's just the tone in our voice, no matter what, where yeah. it just lets you know. So it's, it's it's not even a matter of, oh, you speak, or you, you speak white or whatever. Like, no, obviously I speak proper English, and, and, and yeah, right. I may know some words that you may not know, and if that bothers you, I'm sorry. You know, that yeah. makes you uncomfortable. Yeah. Right. That makes you feel like you need to point out that I speak differently than you, then maybe you need to up your vocabulary. Of course. You know? Suicide looked like the better option. I never really thought that I was going to make it to my graduation. Mm -hmm. Like, when in high school, I never thought I'd live to see, like, myself walk across the stage. And, oh God. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, Take your time. Okay. <sighs> But the fact that I'm here now, mm -hmm. and like, I, and it's not something that just went away, like definitely not. It's still like in the back of my head. Like when I was dealing with college, it was like you know, I could just end it, and I wouldn't have to deal with this anymore. But see, those are all very rash in the moment, emotionally fueled decisions. Of course. That no sane person should be able to be given that out. Just because, like, they're they're that like emotional, and see that's the problem that I would have is if people like if you didn't go undergo a psyche valve for this, or if you if you have a history of like depression, like I like or any mental illness that it affects you as it as mine does, I guess, or as anybody's does really. Mm -hmm. There's. There is, of course, gray areas like there always will be, but... Absolutely. I think we're all in agreement that we're glad you're still here. And Best friend of mine And closer than close There's something very gratifying Opposite sexes We can talk about anything That's why I love you it, the thing about it is you gotta let go of fear and just say fuck it you know what I'm saying that's what sacrifice is yeah fuck it right I like that I wish that was the definition like if you look at Webster's <laughs> dictionary sacrifice and you'll see this fuck it <laughs> like, you gotta think about it really like is this. what it is though <laughs> no for real <laughs>